Whether you are fresh out of school or have been working for decades, I'm sure you have come across this common discrimination. While much of my time I spent giving keynote speeches, I absolutely love connecting with people, whether it be online or in person. And because of that, I love having the opportunity to jump on here and answer questions sent in by my followers, like Sherry. Is there an aspect of your first impression that you have questions about? Download any of the resources linked below and you will find out how you can submit yours. So let's get started. Sherry wrote to me concerned about being labeled by her age. And truth to be told, age discrimination is all too common in both directions. Being perceived as too young and therefore too inexperienced or too old, outdated and not current. Unfortunately, many recruiters and employers don't even acknowledge that it is actually illegal. So before getting into what you can do, I want to give you some legal background. The Age Discrimination Employment Act was passed in 1967, making age one of the protected characteristics in the workplace. This means that employers cannot discriminate against their employees based on their age. This would include hiring, firing, promotions and assignments. However, keep in mind that, as of now, businesses of less than 20 employers are excluded from this. Meaning if a recruiter asks Cherry about the year in which she graduated from university to learn her age, they might have been walking a fine line of legality or they may just be victims of their own biases. Regardless, this is all too common, especially in three different stages of any career. First, within the job search. Often younger applicants are favored simply due to their age. This is especially common when employers assume an older person does not have the skill set of someone younger, for example in managing technology. Second, once you are on the job, it is common for younger employees to be given more opportunities to grow and learn. This may look like additional opportunities for training, faster promotions or more chances to show their skills within the workplace. And finally, seniors are often the ones within a workplace targeted for layoffs or even encouraged to retire, especially when a company is struggling. If any of these sound like struggles you have faced, you can do a few things to combat them. First, always play to your strengths. I have linked some tests below for those who want to take a career-related assessment to determine their strengths if you don't know them. Next, and this one is important, always continue investing in your growth and knowledge within your industry. By staying current, you will always have the skill set an employer is looking for, regardless of your age. Furthermore, fight stereotypes. It is so common that people say older employees don't do well with change or they cannot pick up on new methods quickly. Don't be another example of this stereotype. Be flexible and open to change, excited about new methods, able to handle the latest technology and keep your energy high, always. Something many of us struggle with is being able to toot our own horn. Often it just gets harder and harder the older we get. However, remember that if you can't even market yourself and show others how valuable you are, who else will do it for you? A great way to practice this is to keep your network open and active. Regardless of your age, never stop networking. Continue to update your resume, LinkedIn profile and any other social media you use. Use current photos, language and by emphasizing your networking, you will always keep your options open. Speaking of your resume and LinkedIn, take the focus off of the numbers. When writing about job experiences, you don't always need to include exact dates. Make the focus on your skills, not on the numbers. In addition to that, keep your stories current. 
Try to only go back a few years when talking about past experiences to avoid dating yourself. On top of that, by writing and sharing too many stories about the good old days, it comes across like your workplace owes you, when in fact they don't. Finally, confidence is key. The way you talk to yourself affects how you act. If you are constantly telling yourself you are too old or outdated for your job, you will continue sending those messages to others as well. Being confident in your skill set and what you bring to the table. What does it take for you to feel confident in your skin? Maybe touch up the grades, dress a bit younger. However, remember that you can go too far on either extreme. For more on this, I have a video linked that I recorded for women over 50. Remember, even if your age of photo is not listed on your resume, recruiters usually can access this information anyway with a simple Google search. So rather than feeling self-conscious about if, if they know your age or not, be the best version of yourself possible and show them that age is just a number because you are the best candidate. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to download any of my free materials below, which will subscribe you to my email list to get these type of videos sent straight to your inbox. Also, if you want to learn to toot your horn, I have an online program available to learn this in an easy to access, easy to watch, easy to finish and easy to implement way. Check it out.